I should check on Miles. Hey, Pete, you okay? That's what I was gonna ask you. I'm fine, but you and May are in the middle of it. We're busy, but people need help. And I'd rather be doing something than waiting around for somebody else to fix things, you know? Yeah, I heard that. Just make sure you protect yourself. Mask and gloves. Rest every now and then. All that goes double for men. <sighs> Nobody can make that woman take a break when she doesn't want to. But I'll do my best. Thanks, Miles. Give me my love. And be safe. <clears throat> the reservoir. No sign of scorpions. Better take a closer look. Now, if I was a mercenary dressed like a scorpion, where would I be? Behind you! <laughs> Me, I'd end it now. But Octavius is paying, and he wants to torture you, which I respect. Damn it! What did he inject me with? Whoa! What the... Is that... a sea of poison? Can't be! This can't be real. It must be the poison. But I can't take any chances. Gotta get to higher ground, and analyze whatever he injected me with. Should be safe for a minute. I need to analyze the neurotoxin so I can create an antidote. Scorpions made some upgrades. Genic neurotoxin. My brain will create nightmares that my body thinks are real. I have to create the antidote fast. First, I need a natural steroid. Extract from an Eclipta Alba plant should do the trick. ESU's greenhouse is nearby. Hope it's in season. Alba should be inside the greenhouse. 
there it uh, 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 uh. Is that, is that the moment of peace? It's you, secret safe. Huh? Where'd it go? Is this real or in my mind? It can be both. Duck? It's just the hallucinations intensify. You can get through this. Doc, you sound... Like I did before the neural interface affected my mind. My obsessions were always there, but the interface allowed me to fully embrace them. I have to fix this. Fix you! Somehow! Ah, uh, Peter. Always trying to shoulder the responsibility, even when there's no hope. I can't tell you how many times your unfettered optimism has kept me going when things look bleak. I'll miss being with you. I really will. I'm sorry, Doc. I'm so sorry. Yes, yes, you're sorry. And yet, you let it happen. Makes one wonder where your priorities lie. I mean, if I was really that important to you, why would you let me destroy myself? I can help you. It's the neural web. It's affecting your mind. You mean the neural web you helped create. The hard truth is you did this to me. Without your help, I would... There's the Eclectal. Antitoxin to mix a permanent antidote. One of Harry's research stations was developing a synthetic atropine. Gotta get there fast. Giant deadly scorpion tails. Lovely. Thanks, Brain. How you feeling, Spider? Raw panic crawling up your spine. Scorpion? Get this number. Always asking the least interesting questions. <laughs> It's not, how am I calling you? It's, am I calling you? Maybe I'm just the fevered screams of your dying brain. Real or no, when I cure this poison, I'm coming for you, Mac. <laughs> Big talk from the little bug. That one Jesus There's the research station. We need the atropines right there. No! <laughs> Is that good? It's you, secret safe. Atropine's gone. Well, not again. You're too late. Just as you were too late to help me. This isn't you, Doc. Ah, but it is me. The me polite society found me convenient. The parts of myself I suppressed. But you helped me break those chains. I'm sorry. I'll find a way to help you. I swear it. Stop deluding yourself. You never help anyone. Poison is in you. You are the poison. Everyone you touch suffers. Stop running from me. Let me try. I want nothing from you. You're a veil. And life, love, career. You bring nothing but pain. No, stop. I'm not giving up on you. Please, just talk to me. I can help you. So you can treat me like all the rest. Containing me, suffocating me. No, I will let my genius shine on its own. I saw you, Peter, taking notes, stealing ideas, a rat in my own lab. To think I called you a friend. 
I am your friend, Otto. Please. I've always supported you. I always will. There it is. The atropine. I need to mix the antidote. Finally. I think not. You're in my domain. You're just like us. Trying to steal my genius! Everything that happened! Thought I forgot about you. Scorpion! Are you even real? Hold still. I'll show you. That gave me an opening. And another hallucination. At least he had an imaginary glass jaw. You're the poison trying to distract me. Bring it on. One down. Got it. You're a loser. All you'll ever be is a loser. Nice. Just a few more left. Just trying to hit him isn't working. Another one down. The world will be better off without you! And you know it. Gotta get rid of him and focus yeah. on the job. One more! Some hero. Everyone you ever met. Hope that's the last of them. I can barely stand up. There's the centrifuge I need. I took decontamination a little too far. I'd better put some clothes on. Much better. Let's just go ahead and forget that ever happened. Parker. Always listening, aren't you? Always observing, memorizing, stealing. Who have you told about the neural interface, hmm? About my work? Well, it stops here, Parker. I trusted you. But instead of recognizing my genius, what did you do? Tried to tear it down! Accused it of flaws. There are no flaws! It's a thing of beauty. A perfect extension of the mind itself into the world. Thought given form by these incredible arms. And I have only one thought on my mind now. Norman's reputation lying in tatters before me. Time to give it shape. 
Parker says the interface is dangerous, but the boy's a neophyte. Never truly created anything. Thinks we can stay on the sidelines, avoiding the mud. Men died to found this nation. They died to get us to the moon. Every great push forward demands blood. And this next push, this push to rid ourselves of Norman's stink, it may yet be the bloodiest of them all. Not gonna let that happen, Doc. He was planning this right under my nose. Was it just an idea in his head until the interface pushed him over the edge? How long was he using the device before I realized? The neural interface is exacerbating Doc's rage. He may not be able to come back from this. Defense contracts. He was designing gear for my greatest enemies this entire time. Probably thought it was funny, with me making Spider-Man's gear just next door. So many good docs, the smartest man I know. And now he might be the most dangerous. It's still foggy. Need to work the last of this poison out of my system before I tackle the other villains. Good time to go on patrol.